My name is Max. I'm a senior at Stanford University where I study international relations. I'm the community manager in the loosely Slavic themed house where I live with 49 of the coolest and weirdest people you will ever meet. I teach spin classes, I like concerts and brunch, this is my room, this is my poster of Drake, this is the food kind I found in the closet downstairs, and this is my show. Following opinions do not represent the official views of Stanford University or any of its associated divisions. This program is in no way sponsored or officiated by Stanford. Hello, welcome. My guest today is my good friend Divya. We're here to talk about women in CS and Divya's experience being a woman in CS. The amount of men who are graduating with a CS degree is far outpacing the rate of women who are graduating with a CS degree and who are going out into these successful tech companies and contributing to this very productive industry. But Divya here is obviously a woman in CS. She's had internship positions at some very prominent tech firms. So why don't we just dive right into the question on our minds. Why aren't women studying CS as often as men are? Starting off with introduction to CS classes, you definitely see like a very good mix of men and women. There's almost 50-50, but the more classes I've taken in CS and sort of the farther along I've gotten in my degree, the number of women definitely drops off. And I think the main two reasons for this are women feel uncomfortable in this environment because yes, it is very heavily dominated by men. Women are also more inclined to think about how successful will they be in this field before they decide to pursue it. I feel on average, men don't really take that into consideration as much where, you know, if you're a guy, you want to do CS, go ahead and do it. People will respect you for it. But I think there's more of uh, this thought for women. Will I be successful in this field? Is it even worth pursuing? Will I be taken seriously? Why do factors of success weigh down on women over men? I think a big reason is women see less role models that are just women doing tech. Just take Marissa Mayer, for example. I was reading an article last week, reasons why you should think Marissa Mayer is cool. Not only is she the CEO of Yahoo, but she also played the piano. She also did sports. And it feels like to be taken seriously as a woman in this field, you have to not only be good at tech, but you also have to be... You have to, like, be qualified beyond just your technical qualifications. Right. This might bring us a little more into a tangential topic that I wanted to bring up, which is gender and just field of study in general. At Stanford, the human biology major, which is a biological study of the human body and everything associated with that, both the scientific and more social fuzzy component, that major is made up of over 70% women. Does that lifestyle of caring about people and, and being more cognizant of well-being, are those more female characteristics than the CS lifestyle portrays? I do think there is the stereotype of someone who does tech is grungy and like lives in a basement and is just coding all day and is not caring about personal hygiene. It's just like this very distinctly not feminine image. And I think, yeah, what you're saying about um, bio, I don't know if these fields that are more about human interaction attract women more and maybe these fields these like tech fields that are portrayed as people in it also being a little robotic. Something interesting I've learned in a sociology class about the tech industry is a reason it's been so successful is because these engineers and computer scientists work with each other. It's very much this community of engineers helping each other out with like the greater goal of just advancing technology. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this atmosphere of like camaraderie makes it more like a fraternity just because men are were kind of there first, right? Like men were the ones who came up with the first big tech innovations and they've dominated it, no? No, no, the first programmer, the woman who created the compiler, these have all been women. In, really? Yeah. In the very beginnings of computing, it was very much a desk job when women were just inside all day crunching numbers. And a lot of the initial like technological innovations, like you've heard of Grace Hopper, yeah. they made some very significant advances in technology. And I think somehow it's shifted over into men taking over this field. That's a very common misconception that it's just always been men and it always will be men. I have that somehow implanted in my mind that this is something that's dominated by men, it's just clearly not. How do we move past that in all fields of study? I find in every one of my classes I take, it is important to have male perspective and female perspective. Like, regardless of what we say, they bring different experience to the table and can approach problems from different angles. No one is creating application just for men. Right. And they're missing this entire demographic of women. I mean, what you're saying is completely right. Women do offer a completely different perspective. And I'm not saying that it takes a woman to know a woman and to know what women would like, but it definitely is like a very, very different mindset. There are a lot of advocacy groups that advocate for more female involvement in 
in computer science. What are your views towards the stance these organizations take, their mission? I think there's some great organizations out there that are supporting women in tech. They have meetups, or they have panels where women are able to see other women in the field, not only in industry, but they're also able to meet their peers who will inevitably support them, you know, through college or just like sticking with their decision to stay in tech. Yeah, there's a lot of organizations doing great things, but a lot of them also fall into this trap of focusing on a very small set of women, like I mentioned earlier, just focusing on women who are not only very successful in their field, but also are super women. And only providing those kinds of role models is actually a little bit damaging to the the mission, which, you know, they had great intentions just trying to get more women involved in tech, but it does isolate uh, a big group of women often. And it kind of tells women you can't just be a great coder and do well in school and just have to be this super woman to get into this field that is occupied currently by a bunch of grubby guys <laughs> in zip-up sweatshirts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, 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 the emphasis on making it fabulous. You know, right. you're, you're a geek, but you're also a girl and you're fabulous. But lots of women are, aren't into, you know, doing their makeup and putting on heels. And I think that the organizations that are more focused on getting groups of women together and providing them a place to create a support network for themselves or doing great work. To conclude, Divya, if you were talking to freshman women who are just taking a computer science class mm -hmm. or sophomore women who are getting to like more advanced stages of their degree and seeing all their female friends dropping, what advice do you have for them to persevere through? Placing the burden on women to like be successful in this field is often not really the way to go because if a woman likes tech and her insecurities from her surroundings are what's keeping her from doing it, telling a woman that she's good enough is not really gonna fix that. Of course you can tell someone to just believe in yourself and keep doing it, but I think more of the emphasis needs to be placed on larger tech communities. Less on women to fight the system and more on just everyone to do what you like and do what you're good at and do what your skill set disposes you to be successful in. That, that should be what you focus on when you choose right. your degree. If you're a woman in computer science, if you're a male in computer science, if you've been thinking about these issues at all, please contribute as always. We really want to get some dialogue going in the comment section on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, share with your friends. Let's get this going on different campuses. Divya, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Love talking with you. See you next time. Bye.